So, Rochelle, you've been very open about the fact that you like younger men. I do. So <laughs> tell us tell us a little bit about that. Why do you like younger men? It came about actually with Lucas Frost. Oh, so it's all his fault. It's his fault. <laughs> I blame him all the time. Kind of. He's partial to blame. Um, but it was kind of like I was trying to get booked when I was around like the age of 28. And um, some people are like, eh, like at 28, you're at that weird stage where it's like, I was never a young girl because I came in the industry with fake boobs and stuff. So I could never do like young girl teeny bopper stuff. So you're just like the hot chick, Mm -hmm. you know? And then- um, And strangely enough with like the algorithms and like the way that we've made porn very niche, yeah, you're right. That's almost like a weird age to be where like you can't do the teen porn, you can't do the MILF porn. Can't do MILF. So finally I started getting booked as a MILF when I was like in my, like when I first turned 30 and um, I did a scene for New Sensations with Lucas and, and he just came on set and he was such a little baby face and like just so sweet and we just had such a great scene and he was so young at the time and I was like dang and like we had an amazing scene together and I was like wow maybe I do like young guys and then um I do a lot of stuff with Barstool Sports and they did an article on me and this guy came across it and sent me this really sweet well-worded email long story short we dated for a little bit and he was 10 years younger than me Mm -hmm. I was 33 he was 23 Mm -hmm. but very mature very had his shit together I would never be with a young punk and um that kind of like really brought it out where I was like oh I love young guys and I did want to start dating but like you know I'm almost 37 and most men my age or older were looking at me like oh well when are you going to get out of this little phase and they were looking at, you know, the porn industry is like, oh, this is just a phase for you and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, for starters, I have owned a home since I was 26 years old. I've been in, you know, X amount of years. Like this isn't a little phase. Like I'm going to retire from this Mm -hmm. and I don't see myself slowing down anytime soon. I'm kind of in my prime enjoying this and I probably make more money than you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And um, so, and men are very, and men are very alpha. They want to be able to provide and take care of their woman. So, you know, me coming in, it's what I've been told is very intimidating. I can hold my own. I just need you for loyalty and dick. That's it. So most 20 year olds, you know, they're just kind of like rock on good for you. They're mm-hmm. like, you know, a woman in power. They think it's amazing. And that kind of all played into like my love for like the 20 year olds, like mm. 25 to 28 is like my sweet spot. Like I don't really like them younger than 25 because mm-hmm. <laughs> there's still a little bit of immaturity that I just don't want to deal with. So right. 25 to 28 is like the move right there. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. It's funny, actually, when you mentioned Lucas Frost, I remembered that I shot one of his first scenes. So oh, really? Because spe- earlier we were talking about guys who, you know, maybe did like their one of their early scenes and they ended up being like really good. And I remember. He's he, probably one of them. He Yeah, he filled in last minute for somebody for a digital playground feature. And I think he he may have done one or two scenes. It was like, he'd like almost no experience. And I was so nervous because I hate shooting new guys. Like we said, and I was like, this scene's going to tank. And it was (laughs) a small room. And it was like, and he fucking killed it. And you know, he, when he started, he didn't do blow bangs. None of that. His first scene was just straight boy girl scene. He's on natural. No, doesn't use Viagra. I mean, I don't know if he is now, but I know he never has like with me or with Mm -hmm. anyone else. Like, Yeah. I can't say enough good things about him. I will also say that someone like him, and you see this uh, with other like successful male performers, he's very into like health and fitness and yes. very about like what he eats and yes. like, working out and yes. very like focused on. I love men that. like that. Yeah. I love that. And I think that helps them. Hundred percent, hundred percent, just to feel good overall and to perform better mm-hmm. and just you know their skin looks good and their body looks good. And, yeah. yeah. Totally. Because, I mean, you know how all of us women are in the business. Like, that's all it is with us. Like, we work out. We take care of our bodies between upkeep and everything. Mm -hmm. So, it's very important. (laughs) Yeah, you want somebody else who's also, like, I mean, peak feel. I mean, you guys are sexual athletes, really. I say that all the time, that I am a sexual athlete. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, you know, people who, like, are like, oh, what you just lay on your back. Oh, no. Open your legs. Like, no. Have you ever done reverse cowgirl for 10 minutes? Groceries. Okay. Put a shot in POV. (laughs) on a squishy couch or a bed oh yeah (laughs) yeah or in like 100 degree heat or 30 degrees like lord yeah you I always say that that I am a sexual athlete Mm -hmm. 